Holy crap, starting out strong. Mod Monday, episode 100. 100 episodes of Mod Monday. Thank you all so much for uh, for making Mod Monday such a great success. Uh, seriously, it's almost two years, almost two years of Mod Monday. Uh, Raider Adam, 10 gifted subs during that intro. Thanks so much. Bjorn Prime resub. Thanks so much. Uh, that's right. 100 episodes of Mod Monday. And uh, of course, last year, uh, we did episode 53 was our one year anniversary. But doing the one year, the two year anniversary, three year anniversary is kind of weird because it falls into random episode. So we decided to do, uh, we're going to celebrate episode number 100. 100 episodes of Mod Monday. That is 100 consecutive episodes, 100 consecutive Mondays of Goblins. Every Monday, different formats all the time. We've had, we've laughed, we've cried, we've won, we've lost, um, we've said, and uh, it's been a great, it's been great. Now, like, uh, like on the 100th anniversary, we played, uh, this is going to be I mean, a little bit of a, a, a tradition here. On the 100th anniversary, we played Battle of Wits Goblins. Uh, I played it twice, actually. And we had a 12-hour stream. It was super, super fun. And we're doing this again. So we're going to do Battle of Wits Goblins today at least twice. We have um, Nicole's lined up to play some Historic for us and give me a little spell in the middle of his 12-hour stream. And then the big one is tonight. Tonight, I'll be playing... My first ever four-player game of Commander on Magic Online. That's all. We got great guests. We have Mana Curves. We have Zach Allen. And we have Commander Replay. And we're going to be playing a four-player Commander game tonight. That'll also be on YouTube. Uh, just this league and the, the Commander game will be on YouTube. The rest is all for Twitch only. All right. So huge thanks to everyone for being awesome. And um, yeah, just Mob Monday episode 100. So what are we doing today? What are we doing right now? Battle of Wits Goblins. What the hell is this? Battle of Wits is an enchantment that says, at the beginning of your upkeep, if you have 200 or more cards in your library, you win the game. Now, normally this card is played with like tutors and control cards. Usually like an Esper kind of deck. You know, you play a bunch of Wrath and a bunch of tutors. Screw that. Uh, we're just playing it in our Goblin deck. So we have a Jund Goblin deck. We are splashing for Battle of Wits. And we're playing, uh, we're just playing everything. If all the combos are in here, uh, of course we have the Snoop combo. We got Snoop and Boggart Harbinger. And of course, the good thing is that uh, we probably won't draw Kiki, Kiki, Kiki Jiki in this deck, so only playing one. We have the Grum Gully combo. We've got a Grum Gully Persist combo. We've got Metallic Mimic and Putrid Goblin, Murderous Red Cap. You get the idea. Of course, we can always just beat down and kill our opponent the old-fashioned way, you know, with Goblin Pile Driver, uh, Legion War Boss, Goblin Chieftain, and so on and so forth. We got some uh, some sacrifice stuff here with the Knucklebone Witch. Basically, we just fit everything, you know, because that's just what we're uh, what we're doing here. Legion War Boss, Ringleader, Sling Gang, Krenko. Playing four companies because we just need need because it's just good. Um, we got Icon of Ancestry. We got a cool one here in uh, Empire of Heroes, which is not really good enough in a 60 card Goblin deck. But if you're playing 236 cards, Pyre of Heroes seems pretty cool actually, as far as assembling combos. So four Pyre of Heroes, of course, like Noble Hierarch, new card. Goblin and Narcomancer, super cool. Um, and then when you're playing this many cards, it's just free to play two copies of Valakit and four copies of Scapeshift. So Scapeshift is basically just green, green, two sorcery. If you have seven or more lands, you win the game, um, which is kind of cool. So we got that. And we're just playing this many mountains naturally, which have stomach ground and steam vents and blood crypt and so on and so forth. So we got some triumphs in here to help cast our battle wits as well as some other blue lands. Um, that's just, it's just a lot of cards. I don't know what to tell you, folks. Just a lot of freaking cards. And, uh, we got Thoughtseize and Cyborg, Alpine Moon of a Cyborg, uh, Relic on Cyborg. Probably not going to draw our Cyborg cards anyway. It's funny because everyone keeps, everyone keeps joking. I hope Jim plays against Mill. I hope Jim plays against Mill. Last year that happened. It was like our only win. Um, <laughs> Which is super 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 cool. So uh, here's the deck. We're gonna play a league right now. We're gonna play, definitely play a second league as well. Might even play a third league. We'll see. I want to just battle with all day today and just have some fun because obviously it's gonna be crazy because you're just gonna draw different cards at different times. Should be a nice fun experience. 12 hour stream today. Again, ending on commander. Nicole's gonna spell me in the middle for some, some, some historic. And uh, we have a sideboard. Yeah, we have a sideboard. So let's jump right into this modern league and uh, let it ride. Should I have Ragaman in my deck? Nah, right? Nah, no Ragaman. No Ragavan. So let's jump right in. But first, I want to tell you all about a, a tournament that I'm casting in two weeks. Let's look at this right now. So 
So, Stream League, I'll be casting with Charizard James. Uh, that's going to be um, on the 18th on Saturday. Should be awesome. I believe it's a new, it's new standard, right? New standard. So, new standard. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, thank God for Eldrin rotating. Thank God for uh, for Ikoria rotating. Sorry, Yorian. You will no longer be in standard. It's going to be a lot of fun. And then, actually, about Sunday, I'm casting the Hooplandia Open, which is always a phenomenal time. Jeff runs an absolutely amazing tournament. It's quick. It's efficient. It's fun. Again, new standard. Uh, Jeff and I will be in the booth. So, a lot of coverage uh, that weekend. That's the 18th and the 19th should be a lot of fun. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. You can play in uh, in the Jeff's tournament. Uh, information's on Jeff's Twitter. And then Stream League is a closed tournament. Should be a lot of fun. Let's freaking go. Mog Monday, Battle of Wits, Yorian. I didn't mention Yorian. Look at this. What What is this? It's like an actually functional hand. This is great. Let's go. Keep. Opponent ball against the six. Look at this actually functional hand. Turn one ignoble, turn two war chief. It's actually a turn, a turn, a turn three kill, right? On oppose, this is turn one hierarch, turn two war chief, turn three matron pile driver, pile driver kill you. It's not gonna happen like that because they're gonna interact probably, but that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Can start with a heater here. I love how we have a Yorian too. So like, we're gonna play Copperline Gorge, Ignoble Hierarch, and they're gonna be like, "Somebody's playing a prank on me." Sacred Foundry, Dragon Race Channeler, sure. So I think our first draw is gonna be Battleowitz. That's my guess. Deck list should be up. Um, it should be on the overlay. Yeah, it should be on the overlay. Double Mistress Bobble binning two Thought Seizes. Interesting. Just turn one Delirium here. This is great. But they're not they're not playing Lurus though. It's kind of weird. They're not playing Lurus. They just looked at my top card and they're like, what the hell is going on? Alright, they saw a Goblin Matron, yeah. Don't you know it's Mog Monday? Don't you know it's Mog freaking Monday? Deck was just go to Gatherer and search for every Goblin legal and modern. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, they're almost there on Channeler having Delirium, which is kind of annoying, obviously, but... Game one, match one. Ah, oh, shit, I didn't uh, account for the... This thing. Do a little resizing here. Prismatic ending my, my Noble Hierarch. It's pretty rude. Oh crap, who's that? Barrow Gordon! 100 for the big 100 Mog Mondays. Man, I can't wait to episode 1000. Barrow Gordon, thank you so much. It's very, very kind of you, Barrow Gordon. Um, thank you so much. Very, very generous. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, my opponent's like freaking. Opponent's played 100 cards already. It's, tur it's turn two, and they have Delirium and 10 cards in their graveyard. Through the Breach? What the hell is going on? Barrel, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, Mission Bobble's too much. I hate Mission Bobble. All right, so you draw another Ignoble Hierarch. All right, so uh, yeah. Ankle Shanker's Imitation got lost in the mail. Definitely. Definitely. So this is ridiculous. So there's some sort of like Through the Breach Emrakul deck, I guess. To Barrel, <laughs> I appreciate that. We'll look forward to that in 20 years. Um... <laughs> Dash Ragavan. Okay. Uh, sure. No blocks. This is some freaking start. This is turn three? They hit a spike. Oh my god. Are you serious? They hit my spike field hazard to kill my ignoble hierarch? Does an opponent know what day it is? Huh? Doesn't our opponent know what day it is? This is freaking rude as hell. 
most of the time, the card they hit shouldn't really matter, you know? Alright, let's get our, uh, our Zagoth Triome. Unbelievable. They get to, to trigger their, their channeler, too. Underworld Hookbook. Okay. Man, they are really popping off here. They are really popping off. Alright, so we're going to Matron. We're going to at 11. Blood Crypt. We're going to Matron for, like... I don't even know. We got to kill this Channeler. Mon yeah, why? The, mon the Monkey could have hit Battle of Wits. Instead, I hit the one mana removal spell from my uh, from my uh, my creature. Unbelievable! Unbelievable! All right, we're gonna use the ability. We're gonna search for what? They have three cards in their hand. They're all spells. Um, I mean, Warren Weirding is kind of interesting, actually. We can go, we can go Warchief Warren Weirding. Um, and there's Mation for the next Ringleader or something like that. We have three cards. We kind of need to, like, not die, honestly, so that seems, like, somewhat reasonable. I guess I could just cast Ragavan in that case. Um... I can't see the board. Uh, we have Matron. They're not going to dash into Matron, obviously. They just cast Ragavan. I can't weirding anyway. Um, maybe just Ringleader, honestly. We're at 11, though. We're taking so much damage. We're effectively at 8 and effectively at 6 off of the Shock next turn to cast it. They're at 12, which is kind of wild. Um, Dranalu's Crusade is not legal in the... Modern, unfortunately. Red Cap, Pashigmons, Chain Whirler. Alright, I'm gonna get Sling Gang. And just say go. See what happens here. They have three spells in hand at minimum. They're 12, so. Play Cookbook. And I mean, at any point, we can get Emrakul Gwera's Vengeance here. Crowmaker kills Emrakul. Yeah, but I can't, like, play around Emrakul at this point. They're not, like, there yet on that axis, and we're just dying to this axis. So we're going to discard the Emrakul. <laughs> they mill the Emrakul and shuffle away their graveyard to make their channeler small. That is ridiculous. What's up, Milk Crate? Uh, we just Dragon Skull Summit, too. That's kind of cool. So, like, their hand must be Emrakul Goro's Vengeance. Otherwise, they would have topped the Emrakul. So, we're probably just dead. Um, there's got to be no way out here. But, whatever. What are you going to do? Nothing else makes sense for them to bin that Emrakul if their hand is not already Emrakul Goro's Vengeance. Oh, I've played Dronaloo's Crusade in Extended in a tournament in a PTQ and top 8 with it. It was my anti-Engineer uh, Plague deck. That was, like, preemptive. So you weren't, you weren't sure if they had it? Yeah, they just have Emrakul. Oh, they have Grizzlebrand instead. Okay. Um, so they're going to Cookbook, discarding Grizzlebrand. They're going to Goro's Vengeance it. This is, uh... So you just add 20 Modern Horizons card to every deck in the format, basically. So they're gonna vengeance the Grizzle Brand. Attack for seven. Draw seven. <laughs> Welcome to my Monday, folks! Uh, god damn it. Oh my god! Oh my <laughs> I played everything by accident. Um so they decided to pay for li pay seven life grizzle brand to put themselves to exactly four. Well, guess how many goblins I have in play? Um, Make a little noise here, huh? Come on, I can't hear you. Greatness at any cost. 
it's pretty nice to kill your opponent with a grizzle brand trigger already on the stack um after it was all over he took us in the house to serve his pancake <laughs> oh man we're we're one game in and the highlight reel is already rolling the highlight reel is already rolling Oh, thank you, opponent, for that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, all right, now I got a sideboard. Um, we're going to bring in four relics, and we're going to cut four cards that probably don't matter. Uh, I guess Trash Master might actually play. Uh, let's cut, like, Call of a Death Dweller, and... It's honestly pretty unlikely we scape shift them. It's not impossible, though. Masked Vandal. Look at the... No, that's our fireplace too. Um, cut. I don't freaking know what to cut. End the stream. No topping that. I agree. There's no topping that one. That was that was pretty good. That was pretty freaking good. Uh, let's cut a Legion loyalist, and uh, just gonna pick cards at random here. Let's cut Siege Gang Commander, and uh, that's it. We're done. All right, cool. What's up, spammy? What's up, Trevor? 6 a.m. on the West Coast. Love to see it. Love to see it. What's up, my friend? What land did I place for Field of the Dead? I think I just cut a land because I'm greedy, honestly. All right. This hand looks a little more like we what we signed up for. <laughs> Our first hand looked actually functional. Uh, this hand, not so much. That's a hand of the week. That's a hand of the week right there. Probably shouldn't keep this one. Uh, everyone can admire it for a second. Uh, we probably shouldn't keep this one, though. Um, and a mulligan. And we mulligan to two lands. Mimic, Grumgully, Fanatic. I guess we're keeping this. Let's keep this, Ship Cranko. I've seen better. I've seen better, but... Do I have an Arena Goblin list? Not really current. I mean, you'll see that on future episodes of Mog Monday. Next Mog Monday will probably be Historic. Um... I gotta build a historic goblin deck. Blood Crypt. Channeler. They have nine bobbles again this game? I guess so. I guess so. They've been an ending. So now they have already have land sorcery artifact. What if Dragon Rage Channeler was whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell? Does that make the card a little more reasonable? It'd still be very, very good. Somebody's playing a prank on me. We just bottomed that card, right? We we just bottomed that card, right? Just checking. Just checking. We just bottomed that card, right? What are the freaking odds in our 236 card deck we draw the same card twice? Huh? Huh? I don't know. Just saying. Just saying. Urza's Saga, yeah. Dash Ragavan, sure. Dragon would be, would be the same with that text. They just played an artifact in Bindicard. It'd be a little bit worse. Mostly the same, but a little bit worse. Alright, so they had a war chief. Okay. We hit conspicuous snoop. Um I think we're gonna mimic. I guess we're gonna get like. I mean, I want to get Triumph. I should cast some spells, but. Um, I guess it's just. Uh, I can't even get. I can't even get Blood Grips. All right, sure. Stop and grab I guess. Maybe gone Goblin. There you go. What's better, Magic Online or Magic Arena? I mean, they're both better at different things, you know? Want to play some modern? Fire up Magic Online. Want to actually enjoy your uh, your Magic the Gathering experience on the internet? Uh, play Magic Arena. <laughs> Double Urza Saga. And just say go. All right, so draw land? No. That sucks. All right, uh, probably dead this game. Probably dead this game, folks. What can I say?
I'm good. I'm good. Top card is Cavern of Souls. We got to land on top. That's good. Saga Saga. Might just get uh might just get uh Ember Cool this turn. They're gonna have... No, I make construct, okay. So they're gonna search for I assume a uh a cookbook. You believe we're up a game? You believe we're up a game? So they're gonna get a Pyrite Spell Bomb. They're gonna play a third Urza Saga. And they have a Mistress Bobble also. They can act for five this turn. This is fair. They've done nothing but play lands basically, and they have to two five vibes in blend. Tacos is a very difficult question. So we're drawing Cavern of Souls. Uh, our next card's Company. I mean, we can't use that anyway. I guess we can play Snoop and Grumgully. I mean, Snoop and Knuckleball. So we gotta make some, some moves here, honestly. They banned Bobble. RB's X replacing it with Tormod Script? Uh, no. Why would they do that? Uh, Tormod Script doesn't draw a card. You know, there are there are plenty of zero mana artifacts in the format, but Bobble just replaces itself. So, so we'll say go. And uh, this is a goblin. Probably need to block with it. What's up, Meeches? Thanks, my friend. I appreciate it. Sack the Bobble. Yeah, Bobble isn't good because it's a zero amount of artifact. Bobble is good because it draws a card. Sagas. Sega. I mean, they can't... They're kind of like wasting tokens here in a way, so they know they can't activate this for a token. But they're also just making a bunch of huge constructs. Ithing Needle? Okay. What are you gonna name, my friend? Coco Fang, resub, thanks so much. Alright, gifting a sub, thank you. Appreciate it. Pithing Needle. They name Conspicuous Snoop. I mean, now we can't combo, but like... I mean, it's fine, you know. We're dying. We're just dying to constructs, honestly. It's pretty ridiculous that they they literally have a cast these spells this game. We're just dying to her saga tokens. Um, I guess we're blocking. You know, I can't go to two with pirates while in play. So, I should probably spell bomb this uh, knuckle ball. They're not going to. All right, so we have a five-five knuckle ball. They have two five-five constructs. Um, we draw a company. And we, uh, this is terrible. All right, I think we're dead this game, folks. Hand wasn't too good. Hand wasn't too good. Yeah. Ryan says, hey Jim, thanks for your cube resleeting videos. Had to binge them, hope more cube content. Yeah, so while we're getting browned here, I wanna remind everyone that uh, there are, they should be all up now. I did a cube sleeving stream a few days ago. Really was just a ton of fun. Um, I went through my cube, I sleeved all the cards, talked about them all, talked about cube design. It was a ton of fun, a ton of fun. They're all up on YouTube, go watch them. It's not my normal content, so it's not gonna get as many views, but it was just too much fun to do. And it was real fun, real chill. Uh, I had a great time doing it. All right, so we're just dead. I mean, we just, we're just dead. Yeah, we they just have... 
It's we literally lost this game to Urza Saga tokens. It's actually just insane. They did nothing but play Urza Saga and make tokens. Um, and we just can't win. Our hand was bad, but uh alright, so on the play, going for game three. And uh not gonna cyborg because we already did cyborg. Yeah. I I do wish that Urza Saga and Ragavan were a little worse. And Prismatic ending too. They're all a little too good, I think. They've just been in like literally every deck at this point. Um I like the cards, but I wish they were a little bit weaker. Alright. Oh, oh, we threw an Aether Vial. On the play, no less. Right. It's just like just seeing those same, you know, dozen modern rising cards in every deck is getting starting to get a little old, I'm not gonna lie. So, we have, have Vile and Matron, which is great. We have Fetch Land for Triome, which is great. They have Sunbake Canyon for... Channeler again, sure. Unholy Heat is also uh, quite good. Draw Cranko. Alright, so... It's alright. Podcast vibes? Yeah, for sure, for sure. It's kind of chill. Sonic, thanks so much. Appreciate it. Mod Monday, episode 100. <laughs> Battle of Wits Goblins, 12-hour stream. Red, black, dash, ragaman. I mean, that's honestly fine. I'm going to get my freaking triome. We're going to get the... Uh, the Salt Eye Triumph. Yes, I am playing my first ever four player game of Commander on Magic Online tonight. Who's pumped? Who's pumped? Aetherworks Marvel? Uh, no. Yeah, that card's not good enough. How do they keep getting castable one drops? I don't understand. There's not gonna cast it though? I ain't sure. Alright, so you're going up. We draw our own Firebrand? That's dope. That's dope. Um, Alright, we're just gonna kill this. Uh, should we actually leave it up and just uh, try and kill Ragavan? Yeah, I like that better actually. So play Firebrand. Play Vista and just take out. Next turn we have uh, Warchief Cranko, honestly, which is pretty cool. So. Blood Crypt tapped. They're gonna attack. Uh, we're gonna block. Sure. Let's fetch up a uh, I guess swamp. Should be an island, maybe. Honestly. I mean, yeah, now, now he's your ringleader. I'm not going to play Warchief uh, Krenko into Madden Open, so I'm just going to play ringleader. Pretty good draw, pretty good draw. Let's see what ringleader turns up, folks. No. Oh. Major Munitions Expert? I mean, like, I just don't see a reason to do that. You know, we just want to save our Major for ringleader or something like that. We ended up drawing ringleader, but... All right, we hit perfect hit, perfect hit. We hit Boar Boss, Chain Whirler, Red Cap, and Battle of Wits. Um, do we just uh, Legion War Boss here, or leave up Chain Whirler or Matron? I'm gonna leave it up because they get a kill spell here. So, Go get him, buddy. Go get him, buddy. It's Mog Monday. The star of the show. Mog Monday. Goblin ringleader. Just gonna untap. Play Urza Saga, sure. Just 
to have black. Oh my god, they're gonna throw the breach us. Oh my god, they're gonna throw the breach us. Oh, that's super lame. All right, I guess you win. Uh, if we were at one higher life, we could win this game maybe, but we're not. We're exactly 15. That's pretty lame. All right, I guess. If you say so. Uh, if this deck is good, I think that Modern's not healthy. Um, if the the Dragon Raid Channeler Ragavan Urza Saga deck also gets to be a combo deck too, and that's like a, a correct way to build it, that's like a pretty big a pretty big uh, mark against the power level of Saga and Ragavan and so on and so forth. So, all right, we're on one. We're on one. All right. Round two. Round two. And again, it's the first time you're here at the follow button. Watching on YouTube, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Uh, Mod Mondays. So, is it anyone's first Mod Monday here? Let me know. You come in on the 100th episode? Or freaking playing uh, Battle of Wits Goblins? Alright, they're playing Gigantha. Oh, their hand's pretty bad. I'm gonna mulligan. Who's my Goblin Commander? Muxus. Muxus. Sure. Whatever. All right, we're going to get rid of, uh, I think, the Pathway. So you have turn one Triome, turn two Instigator, probably. Survivor Football? Yep. Survivor Football, of course, is always on. We also added uh, we added uh, Fantasy Football Leagues to my uh, to the Pile Drivers Discord. We have two 14-player for Fantasy Football Leagues. They're already drafted, but next year, I want to play in that. If you're a subscriber, free to play and prizes. One of the many perks of being a Pile Driver. Five bucks a month on YouTube or on Twitch. YouTube membership, Twitch sub. Thing is night, resub. What's up, Dave? Me, I don't know what a Mog is. A Mog is a type of goblin. Uh, you know, Mog, War Marshal, Mog Fanatic, and so on and so forth. And Mog Monday is a show where I play goblins every single Monday. A hundred Mondays in a row brings us to today. Uh, the 100th episode of Mod Monday. They're playing Triumphs. They're playing uh, Nib Visit, probably. Which is probably really good against us, honestly. Red, black. Nope. Scion of Draco. Uh, sure. We're going to get ourselves a red Triumph. Was my affinity for goblins? I mean, I played goblins in competitive formats for for years. I have multiple good finishes in multiple formats of goblins. I just love 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 the way love the way the deck plays. I'm a huge goblins fan. Uh, tribal zoo, eh? All right. Well, four four flyer on turn two on the play is pretty good against us. We're a blocking deck, and I uh, can't block that one. Look more modern Horizons cards. I mean, this one's much, much tamer than Urza Saga and Ragavan, you know? Come on now, let's go. Mog Monday. Just another Mog Monday. How many times should I play the Mog Monday theme song today? What do you think? Blue, black control with Gearhawks. I did, I did like that deck a lot. I did like that deck a lot. A hundred times. Beginning of combat step, sure. Four times intentionally. We're already at one time accidentally, so. Good morning, space. Temple Garden untapped. Tap three. This is a Ferris guy, probably. Uh, nice goblin shame whirler, Jim. Who's ready for the shame whirler? Let's go. Let's go. Play it every league. General Ferris status. Hexproof monocolored is not protection from monocolored. So, Legion War Boss, like a boss. Like a boss. 
One whirly boy. It's a pretty good turn for us. Kill their thing, put them to 11. Boom. Get off my plane. Thanks, Roper. Appreciate it. 100 episodes. Can y'all believe that I've done this every single Monday for the last 100 Mondays? That's crazy. For a while there during COVID, like during the, the absolute like depths of COVID, the only thing that kept our week sane was Mod Monday. You just never knew what day it was otherwise. Red and green and blue. Shardless agent. Okay. And they reveal a lightning bolt. Right, it could be worse, I guess. It is a hexproof trample shardless agent. Powerful. Powerful. All right. Um, let's see here. Like a boss. I feel like sling gang. Munitions expert. That's pretty good, actually. Let's go get ourselves a land. Um, we're going to kill the Scion. Play pile driver, play expert. <clears throat> we have a... Uh, we don't have blue yet. Enough for... Enough blue for... Battle of Wits, so... Is there an island in here? Forest. Play Goblin Pile Driver, and then play... Expert. What's Infernal Grasp? That the one where you lose two life? That card is much worse than you think it is. Much worse than you think it is. All right, and kill this. And no attacks. They're at 11. We're at 10. We have a lot of power in play. And most most, no, most notably, they can't block Goblin, Goblin Pile Driver currently. Because this is blue, obviously. So... Sign of Draco number two. All right, that's pretty good. However, if we get to a point where the... Uh, they'll have to block pile. Things. They have a bolt here. It's pretty bad. They have four cards in hand. This is a little tough. So we could just fire in the war boss here. Attack with the pile driver. Oh, that was actually pretty good. Never mind. Now, this, this will force the issue. So play Mimic. See if they, they want to kill it or not. All right, we'll aim Goblin. Because if we... Uh, if they don't have a bolt, it's correct to attack with everything and force the block with pile driver on Scion. But if they do have the bolt, obviously that's bad. We can get it. So we have blue, blue. We have all the colors. Get mountain for nine. Like a boss. This would be a three three that makes a two two if it resolves. So we'll see what they. Uh, all right, they want to resolve. Do you play around the bolt or nah? Do you play around the bolt or nah? They bolt pile driver. They block two things. It's pretty bad, honestly. Ah, screw it, whatever. Let's just do it. They probably have it, I think. I think they have it. Yeah, they have it. Alright, sure. Whatever. It's fine. We didn't come here to not to not make some aggressive plays, you know? Honestly, the bolt might have killed us anyway, so. I mean, right now we're dead to Tribal Flame. We're, we're dead to a million things, honestly. So, we're probably just dead next turn anyway. They just have Tribal Flames, so. I think going for it there is fine. It's pretty sure they had it, but. They're going to untap, attack, or four against Tribal Flames. Yeah, 100%. And that's five, Tribal Flames, and you win. All right, whatever. All right, game two, game two. Sucks when you know everything's going to happen. You don't you know, play around it or do anything about it. So if I had not attacked, the bolt would have killed us anyway. So what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Um, not going to sideboard, that's for sure. Game two, game two. Freaking Tribal Flames. Freaking Tribal Flames. Okay. Sorry. Battle of its goblins. I haven't even drawn Battle of its yet. We saw it on a ringleader. I haven't even drawn it yet. So unlucky. So unlucky. I'm going to stand for league number two of Battle of its. 
So I'd say just another Mog Monday, but it's it's not just another Mog Monday. This is a special Mog Monday. Special Mog Monday. We had it in the hand of the week. Sure, sure. That's true. Come on, opponent. Let's go. Let's go, my friend. On the fly. Yori and I choose you. Uh, I mean... Sling Gang might buy enough time for Battle of Wits to win. I'll just freaking keep it. Whatever. We got Battle of Wits. We can cast Battle of Wits. Freaking keep the hand. Let's go. Let's go. We're going to Delta for a, a Triome. Just Delta. Just pull, just pull a Delta my Goblin's deck, you know? Keep her mulligan. We're going to win this game, Battle of Wits. What do y'all think? Keep mulligan. Just bluff counter spells for a bit. Yeah. Best deck size for Battle of Wits? I don't know, like 230, 240, somewhere in there. All right, so we have one blue, two blue. We're probably just getting both triomes, but... Nice! Oh my god! Turn four, Battle of Wits! That just increased our clock by an entire turn! Hold on, oh, no, hold on, Hierarch. Hold on, buddy. Don't get bolted. Don't get bolted. These old veggies are freaking nice. Triome, you got it. Crocket Fetch. What's the tick's price of his deck? That's like, I don't know actually because I own a lot of the cards. So the only cards I own are Magic Island or are the Goblin cards. Tribal of Tribal Flames, the Hierarch. So good news, bad news, right? So our Hierarch is dead. Oh my God. Arab Mesa can't get the Salt Eye Tribe. You idiot. All right, whatever. It's fine. It's not really that big of a deal, but I still cast it, so it's just funny. Um, all right, so they kill that just fine because they didn't play a threat that turn. So we're still at a super high level, which is totally fine. Uh, so we're going to play Steam Vents, Untap, probably play Icon. Uh, actually, now we're going to play Grum Gully. Just a better Icon in this scenario. You can draw land for Battlewitz. Hold on tight, folks. Two mana sorcery, kill my ignoble hierarch. A shock and a land. Blue, white, black. Deputy of Detention. Yeah, great. This is great. Every card they play that doesn't kill me is great. Oh, Deputy can kill Battle of Wits, which is pretty tilting, but... Red Cap. Alright, we're gonna Sling Gang here. Lieutenant. Can you draw land for Battle of Wits? Like, how many of these could they possibly have, you know? Basic Mountain. Blue, red, white. Bloodbraid Elf, Bloodbraid Elf. Bloodbraid hits Tribal Flames. Flames targeting me for five. Okay. Block 
sack. All right, big draw step here, folks. Big freaking draw step. One untapped land, please. It's all right. It's all right. Um, we can just like red cap and kill this uh, blood burn elf, I guess. Yeah. Just play it fair. Just play it fair. Effectively at 13. They've already cast two tribal flames, so. Red, blue, green, shardless, revealing Manamorphos. Okay. That's cute. That's cute. They make red, green. Tag of Goblin Token, see if they block. Um, yeah, maybe. I mean, getting, getting Grum Gully back is not particularly important. But sure, maybe, maybe that's better. Like, doing that one point of damage is like, you know. Oh, sure, you're right. I didn't even consider that. You're right, you're right. Panda's totally right. I just forgot the combo. Because we're just kind of like we're kind of playing to battle wits. Am I thinking about it? You're totally correct. So if this deputy dies, they just die. Because I have a sack outlet and a, uh, a murder shred gap. So if we have some way to kill this deputy, we actually win the game. But I don't want to win that way. I want to win battle wits. They're going to shock in a land and say go. So they're just screaming lightning bolt here. All right, untap. Land, untapped. Tar fire. God damn, we can't play both. Uh, wait, wait, wait. We can play Icon, sack the red cap, kill the deputy. Oh, no, that doesn't work things. So they don't want to have a, a red cap to sacrifice. Um, Shnikes. If our Peter land was a freaking red land, it'd be fine. All right, we'll just keep just keep playing, I guess. We're just going to kill the General Ferris. Say go. Just keep trying to draw, light, keep trying to draw land for uh, Battle of Wits. Pretty sure they have Bolt here because they shocked this in, so it seems pretty clear they have Bolt. Uh, so combo won't, won't work anyway, most likely, so. And then we'll uh, just say go. Watch them Veil. And that'd be funny, I guess. End step. Bolt. Yeah, so combo's not happening, so. Should we sack this red cap just to get an extra point of life gain? They have two cards left. They've already cast two tribal flames. Nah, I don't think so. I could kill the Charles agent, that is true. Yeah, all right, so we'll just sack, sure. Kill this. Sack this. We got a 12. And we're at 12 life. They have two cards in hand. And we are uh, just trying to cast Battle Wits. They're just playing five card zoo. General Ferris zoo. Red, green, blue. Shardless Agent. All right. Territorial Kabu. Does that have trample, right? It's the 5-5. Five, five. Sure. Can we just draw a freaking untapped land? Is that possible? They have no way to get through Chain Roller right now either. Untapped land. Come on. Alright, we're gonna icon 
because that'll allow us to uh, pump our stuff. We can tar fire down the Kabu when they attack. Let's go to our draw card. Yeah. This is pretty annoying, but sure. Straw land! Alright, so you go. I'm trying, folks. Red, black. They're gonna wear my icon of ancestry. They actually had wear and tear in their hand for freaking battle wits. You believe these people? Can you believe the nerve of these people on Mog Monday boarding in wear and tear against freaking battle wits? It is a blessing in disguise in theory, because, uh, this more shardless agents this one hits another tribal flames will they go for the chain whirler or me i'm gonna go for me okay i'm at six yeah it's a lot of shardless agents uh not gonna lie hopefully those kabo attacks we can eat it tar fire as was the plan Should be fairly obvious with the uh, us tapping our Peterland, but nope, gonna do it, gonna do it anyway. So they're gonna Kabu. they're going to loot or rummage. I mean, so that means that means they have a random card in their hand. They just got a land here. Just got explosives. Okay, they're playing explosives in their Sharpless Agent deck. <laughs> Inconceivable. Okay, sure. Dead top deck tribal flames? Uh, not currently. No, we go. We go to one. A little tar fire action. Untap and draw. Well, I guess. I guess if we sure we got to need to cast Balowitz. It would be the last tribal flames though. So come on, land. Come on. What are you doing to me here? What? 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 What is going on? Um. Happy Centennial Mog Monday. Thanks, Doctor. Do we Yorian? No, because we draw, we, we we draw land number five. We're going to play Battlewits. So I guess we're playing Ringleader. I mean, we're going to go five. I should probably start attacking, honestly. Which kind of sucks, but... I guess if they draw, they draw, they draw Bloodberry Elf is pretty bad, but... Just gonna jump block the chain whirler. Okay, sure. Take that. What are the odds they draw the fourth tribal flames and just kill me? Anyone? What are the odds? Ringleader reveals pile driver, scape shift, valakid, bloodstained mire. <laughs> uh, I'll put those in the bottom, please. Thank you. Thoughts on Rhythm of the Wilds in the cube? That red green enchantment? That card's bad. Last Tribal Flames, do you got it? They've already cast three. We have the case copy of Tribal Flames. Or should I say, do we have it? Red, red, blue. No, no, no. Red, blue, white, Mantis Rider? Ugh. Now we, now we just lose. Aw, oh, that's so gross. Red, black, what? <laughs> they had one guard in their hand. Unbelievable. It has hexproof now too. Unbelievable. 
Oh, man. Just can't produce the fifth. They're obviously drawing a land here. It's going to be a Prismatic Vista. Now, it's important to note that that is preposterous because we're playing 236 cards in our deck. The odds of that happening are astronomical, all right? Just astronomical. Why can't I use my powers for good? Why can't I use them for good? I always waste them. With great power comes great responsibility. And I waste it. I waste it. I'm not crying. You're crying. Oh. <laughs> Doctor's gift and subs. Thanks so much. Oh, my God. Okay. All right. Sure. Sure. We're going to win some matches. Don't worry. On the play. Let's go. Yori and I choose you. We had that one. If we just drew a freaking fifth land, we had that game easily. Uh, it was turn eight. I think if we had drawn it on turn five, six, or seven, we, 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 we would have won that game. Our opponent's playing Lurus. We're playing Yorian. And uh, it's two Pyro heroes. We can keep this, I guess. Sure. We have Fnatic for Terminal Ragavan, so... I think we actually play Bloodstained Mire and conceal our Fnatic. So they have Dragon Man, they should play it. Or Channeler. Four Vistas. Four Vistas. Goblin Years, got it, got it. What's that book? 100 Years, 100 years of Solitude? This is 100 Years of Goblins. Sacred Foundry, Monastery Swift Spear. That's scary. That's pretty scary. Okay. Um... Take one. Probably just regular old burn. War boss. I guess we're gonna pyre here. And uh, we can like fanatic sack it and go get like a Mog War Marshal or something like that. Unbelievable. What a ridiculous turn of events here. What a ridiculous turn of events. Pyre. Pyre. 100 years of goblins and more crayon? Yeah, probably. I was supposed to read that book in school when I didn't. Sorry. I have a degree in English and writing. Oh, I'm not the best liter not literature uh, student. They reveal Bobble Channeler. That's pretty good. Is Yorian just there? Because why not play it? Yeah, I mean, we're already playing blue and we're already playing. We already meet the requirements. So it's not like our sideboard cards matter because we're playing so many cards. So Light up the stage. Channeler Bobble. It's pretty good. If we were to hold the Bobble to next turn, it makes sense. Uh, so we're going to draw what here? Unclaimed territory. <sighs> so we can like fanatic pot it for munitions expert, kill a channeler, and have a creature to pod next turn also. Yeah, because we gotta kill channeler before they bobble, so. We're gonna get munitions expert. I ain't no expert, I'm just hurt. Kill that. And now we've uh, we've halved their clock, put a goblin in play to pot away. And if they play, if they kill the expert, it's fine too.
Hello, opponent. Are you there, my friend? So they bit to play Bobble, get a prowess trigger, but they lost their trigger off Dragon Rage channel, which is cool. Playing Scape Shift too, yep. So if you just have seven lands and play Scape, you win the game with Scape Shift. Foothills, Crack, Foundry, Shock, Bobble. Not sure why we didn't Bobble first, but sure. Searing Blaze, my expert. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. And Ragavan. Okay. Okay. And Bobble. Alright, so we're at 11 and they have three cards in hand. They have four cards in their hand. Draw like... Snow-covered Swamp. This is kind of gross. Alright, so we play War Boss here and just, I guess, a... Attack for one, D up, play tap land. We can like, uh, we can play Chieftain and Pirate next turn for like a, a red cap or something like that, or a sling gang. So that's kind of cool. We'd obviously attempt to trade War Boss for Ragavan here, but on a burn spell. If they do have a burn spell, we're just dead, but. Daglos is on the overlay, folks. Untap.gg. Searing Blaze again? I mean, now we're just dead. I mean, double Searing Blaze usually lights out for any creature deck. They hit Misty Rainforest? Sure. We can get Sling Gang, I guess. Draw Red Gap? We draw a land, it's pretty sweet, honestly. Let's get Sling Gang. Oh, oops. That's true, it's September, folks. Discount subs all September. Hit that sub button. I should do a subathon or something like that. Sack Chieftain. Get Sling Gang. All right, I mean, cool. Sling Gang resolved, it didn't die. We're four, we got blockers now. They still have three cards in their hand and five mana, but. I guess they just like didn't know what we were pirating for. They end step Boro Charm me. Okay, they could have just Boro Charm me on their turn, right? Like, what the hell are they doing? All right, I'll go to one, I guess. I think we're dead, folks. I think we're dead. Dub Searing Blaze. All right, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. You sub in advance, steal the money all at once? I have no idea, honestly. Probably not. All right, we got this. We got this. Um, we're just getting really, really, really unlucky. That's my that's my assertion here. We're just getting really, really unlucky. That's the only reason we're losing. No other reasons why we're losing. We're just getting really, really unlucky. Double Searing Blaze. Come on. Double Searing Blaze. Put two Searing Blaze in your deck. Unbelievable. Draw them. Have the mana to cast them. These people. These people out there. What's up, Ross? I don't think we're going to kid it today, Ross. We will, we will in the future, though. We will in the future. Um, but yeah, we're... Uh, we're... Uh, we're battle witzing, playing commander later. Nicole's gonna have a shift too. Streak broken. Ah, oh, it's okay, Lawmaster. Ross, 
You are in no position to make demands, Ross, all right? Let's be real here. Let's be real. Come on now. Please, more Dirty Kitty. We'll play more Dirty Kitty in the future. Don't you worry. I don't know what position you're in. That is true. Wait! You have a sword? Sword giveth, sword taketh away. Come on, opponent. What are you doing? Jeez. Who's cyborgs these days? Who's cyborgs? Remember, folks, follow me on Twitter. There I am. Look, why do you follow on Twitter? For the Igor of the week. Aww. There he is. Igor with a rare trip outside. A rare trip outside. Follow me on Twitter, of course. Put a part in wear tear. That is true. They didn't bring a wear tear. They were trying to get us. They're trying to get us. Come on, opponent. There we go. All right, we got this. We got this. On the play. Yorian. Come on now. Loris Lynn. All right, we got this hand's good actually. We have Marshall Aether Vial. We're keeping this one. This one all day. Um, thanks, Doctor. I guess we're gonna hobble. Well, I want to get triumphs of these if possible. So, I guess that won't be possible for the first one, but. Come on, opponent. Put your Aether Vial, my thousand card deck. Should we play a thousand card deck for the next uh, next episode? Next episode. <laughs> Jack, thank you. Ross, you're a sub now. Reveal Marshall because we're playing it next turn, so. Too bad, Russ. Prismatic ending. <sighs> I hate prismatic ending. All right, Bobble. What's the limit on deck size? Um, I don't actually know. What's up, Soul? Should I get like a blue land or a forest? I'm gonna get Triome. Oh, I can't get a blue land. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not getting a duel, obviously. Let's get the mountain. Whatever. Marshall, Marshall, Marshall. Could I play Kiki Cord soon? Uh, I have no plans to. I know max deck size, like. The bigger your deck is, the slower Magic Online goes. If you try and fetch like a thousand card deck, it like explodes. I used to do it back in the day. Um, I just I, I build like a thousand card deck, card deck, and just like dick around. All right. Um. Vantage number two and just saying go. Is it Echo time? Is it Echo time? I don't think so. I do love playing some, playing some Echo, but let's see what we draw here. They're playing like, you know, Neo Burn or something like that. So Foundry Street Denizen. So we could like Denizen, Instigator, Go. Thanks, Hex. Appreciate it. Yeah, Cube Sleeve, the Cube Sleeve videos are up on YouTube. It was such a fun stream. Super chill, super good hangout. Good thing to listen to podcast style also. Uh, just a lot of fun. A lot of fun. I can't fetch a Mountaineer, honestly. I'm just going to play... Instigator and play a land and get a Triumph. Scalding Tarn. You get the Teamer Triumph. Kind of weird to see Yori as a companion for a Goblin deck. Yeah, it's also fun for your opponents because, like, they see Yori and they're like, oh, they're a slow deck. And we're like, haha. Or a goblin deck. But what is going on here? Their hand game always insane. And this game, they're literally not doing anything. 
Lava spiked me. Okay, never mind. They did something. Light up a stage. Okay. Revealing light up a stage to the spear. Alright, sure. Play Sysphere, not light up a stage. Also an interesting choice. Get our teamer triome. Untap. We're gonna tee up an attack here, and I would trade hazard for this. I think maybe we might draw land though. We'll see what we draw. We'll see what we draw. Land? That is a land. Um, okay. Sure. Let's go on the offensive, folks. Opponent has played very slowly, so we'll just freaking attack them. Then we have Denizen, Instigator, Spike Field Hazard, the Sister. If they uh, block, if they do block. Good beats all around. Are we going until we get 100 Battle of Wits kills? Uh, how about if we get one Battle of Wits kill, all right? Let's, let's take it easy here. 100 Battle of Wits kills? That would probably take... I feel like we're going to average one Battle of Wit kill a league. So that would take a, a unbelievably long amount of time. Bore Charm me, all right. Yeah, sure. And they're gonna cast light up a stage, hit land searing blaze. That's pretty good. They have three cards left. Pluto Delta. Alright, I mean we're trying to attack, so. This is uh six damage. We're not gonna leave back a blocker for like a haste creature. Put Yori in hand. Play Delta. Crack Delta. Probably gonna win it, I guess, but whatever. Good triumphs. There you go. Alright, don't kill me, I guess. We have to flicker our Goblin Instigator. How many times in the history of magic? In the history of magic? Any game. Online. Paper. How many times has Goblin Instigator been flickered by Yorian Sky Nomad? That's your comment of a day on YouTube and your comment of a day on Twitch. I want to know how many times you think that Goblin Instigator has been flickered by Yorian in any game of Magic anywhere in the world. That's your question. Jax is under 100. Under 100. Another light at the stage for another Boros Charm. Maybe twice. I think 100 is a reasonable line, honestly. Like, you know, if one kid has this in their deck, ooh, uh, you know, and like they just play the deck a lot, it could have, it could happen. So, all right, well, we draw uh, Ringleader. And they have Boar Storm. We're just like probably dead, which is like pretty stupid. They have nothing in this game to play Boar Storms, but. Two. Actually, this, this is, I'm sorry, this is, this is, this is seven. This is lethal. We actually had a, uh, I didn't even notice. Hit four goblins, of course. Uh, definitely won't matter this game. The game is either over one way or another, but sure. Sure. Yeah, they weren't in standard together, which is very important. I agree. I agree. Because, like, that cuts the, the random arena deck. All right, so they, they have, so they have to bolt the ringleader and not me to stay alive. So, your Tom is a chance. Your Tom is a chance. What time is the break at? What do you mean? Nicole, when Nicole steps in? Uh, I'm not, it's an, I'm, we're, I'm gonna do two leagues of Battle of Wits and then Nicole's gonna step in. Boris Charm me down to three. Are we dead? Play land. <laughs> we'll get you two back in on this. We're gonna play a game, okay? Ross, you gotta stay here. I got, you gotta stay here. Uh, how many games? Don't answer this, Ross. Has Ross 
Ross won lifetime with Battle of Wits. Not ah, crap. Ross Battle of Wits wins. I'm gonna put the line at 1.5 and I want over or under. One minute. How many games has Ross Merriam won in his entire life with Battle of Wits? The line is 1.5. Do you want the over or the under? Ross Battle of Wits win. Oh no. I missed it. Ross Battle of Wits wins in his Magic the Gathering career. Ross Merriam is in chat. Ross is going to answer as soon as this poll is over. How many games Ross Merriam has won? In Magic the Gathering with Battle of Wits, the line is 1.5. Do you want the over or the under? Do you want the over or the under? It's bigger, right? What do you like? Over or under? I want the die roll. I'm going first. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. The bets are in. Ross, how many games of Battle of Wits have you won in your entire life in any situation ever? Ross, you could have bet. Yes, you could have bet on this one. You're correct, actually. That would have been pretty funny. What is it, Ross? Zero! That's the under, folks. That's the under. Ross doesn't like fun. So, Ross Battlewitz wins. The under wins. The under. Sorry. Thanks for playing Money Making Game, folks. Appreciate it. Thanks for playing Money Making Game. Oh, you'd love to see it. All right. Um, this is hands terrible. What are we on the play? I'm going to freaking keep. There you go. Ross says, I've never put that card in a single deck. I have a modicum of self-respect left. No, you don't, Ross. Come on. Seriously. <laughs> if you showed up to Versus Live and Corey was like, here's your Battle of Wits deck, you'd be like, yeah, sure. I would love to. I would love to. <laughs> Steam vents. Please play Ragavan. Yeah, Ragavan. Meet Goblin Instigator. Your worst nightmare. Um, all right, so we're gonna team her. I have never played Battlewits in paper before. Uh, never. Now, online, I've played it a ton, honestly. I've played it in Modern, I've played it in, I might have played a Legacy one too, but in Goblins, obviously. So, tons of times for me. I probably have, I probably have like 15 career Battlewits kills on my, on my resume, but uh, not in paper, not in paper. So draw off that, draw whatever, draw off this, yada yada yada. Uh, two bobbles, sure. Patrick Mons is a great draw. Patrick Mons is a great draw. Instigator blocks Ragavan literally all day. And then Patrick Mons is a good three drop. And then we're just gonna curve our way up here. Curve our way up. It's a lot of shuffling. As long as Rob shuffles for you, it's very fair. Very fair. AJ, thanks for hanging out, my friend. I appreciate it. Watch the rest on YouTube. Oh, look who's here. Look who's here for the 100th episode of Mod Monday. Come here. Don't you know what day it is, Karn? Aww. Don't you know what day it is? It's the 100th episode of Mog Monday. You weren't even born yet when the first Mog Monday happened. You were a, a twinkle in your mother's eye. Yeah. You. Huh? <laughs> Alright, our upkeep. Sure. Karn, gonna hang out for a little bit? Everyone say hi to Karn. Karn emotes in chat, please. Future goblins. Uh, Alright, so... Just gonna get ourselves a mountain here. Play Patrick Mons, and then probably attack with one of these. What's up, man? What's up, man? Karn's tired, apparently. Karn wants everyone to know, but he's very tired. But I'm late tired. But I'm late tired. Stinky doggy. Stinky doggy. 
Thought Scour. Okay. Oh, does he have a Goblin Collar? I mean, he is a Goblin. Is it a One Lander? They're attacking? What? Inconceivable! What kind of attack is this? Pinecone, reset. Thanks so much. Nine months. Sub baby name, please. Upstairs. Karn, they can't even see you. You know, Bolt Pashik Mons? Okay. I mean, I don't know why they did do that before uh, damage, but sure. We are in the O3 bracket, so. Misty Rainforest. All right, so we're going to get Triome. Put Yorian in our hand. And uh, get some F6 value here. Look at our freaking mana base. Maybe I leave back, actually, because they probably have a second Ragavan because they were willing to throw it away so aggressively. Land number two probably cast Murktide. They're probably going to die. I'll just attack. I'll just attack. They bolt before the... They get to kill Ragavan and keep an extra 1-1. One, one. That's true. That's true. The old Yorian Putrid Goblin deck. All right, here's Murktide. Murktide. They have one, two, three. It's going to be a 5-5. Five, five. Just bigger, just bigger than yeah. It makes sense. You're right. You're all. You're all right. You're right. All right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah, it's a merc dud. And uh, murderous red cap. I mean, sure, I guess. Cat them in the face. They go to ten. I mean, we just say go, they attack us for six, we attack them for three, and then we Yori in our red cap. What's up, dude? Do I have to lower the camera because they can't see you? You just do this. Here. We go okay is that good no blocks are you whining are you whining you're on television car and everyone loves you they like oh my god kiki cheeky what is going on right now um all right, let's attack. They definitely have Counterspell or some guy or something like that. He's whining. You got potty outside? What's the What's the issue? What is your major malfunction? What's your major malfunction, Karn? Huh? All right, we're casting Yorian. I don't want to hear what you guys say about it. We're casting Yorian. Whether you like it or not. I mean, I think Kiki's more important than Yorian is. I mean, Yorian's more important than Kiki is. We have a blue, blue here. Alright, play Kiki. Car wants to see Dirty Kitty, does he? There's your counter spell, as predicted. So I guess we need this Yorian anyway, so alright, that makes sense. That was, that, was a good, that was a good choice again, I guess. Ain't nothing but a carn dog. Yawny and smelly. You ain't nothing but a carn dog. Get in my belly. What are you doing, man? We got a five, they're at seven. There's a, there's a counter spell gonna kill us. Like, this is stupid. Uh, we draw an expert. That, like, kind of does it. Um, yeah, they, they, I'm sure they have a counter spell, but. They can't see you, dum dum. They can't see you. Tax that. 
Maybe they'll like they'll counter the expert or something because they're dumb. I, I don't I don't know. I'm trying. Attack. You want to go down? You want to go away, Mr. Whiny Face? Cast Expert. Resolves. Shoot Merc Tide. I mean, if they have nothing here, we, we have to do everything. But I, I just can't... They have all spells in their hands. So, like... You know, like, what could they possibly... Uh, they have all, uh, they all have, uh, they have perfect information. Yeah, all right. That was a pretty stupid game. Um, they missed the land drop, just cast a Merc Tide, cast two counter spells and killed us. All right, I guess. Uh, Battle of its Goblins, not, not doing so good today. Not doing so good today. Um, I guess I'll bring in these Vexing Shushers and cut, like, the Siege Gang and the Trash Master. Try that one again, Karn. I'll try that one again, all right? What are you looking at? You gotta go potty outside. You gotta go potty outside. No? Do you want a taco? No? Do you, uh, do you smell bad? You wanna go? All right, you can go. Oh, he ate it. He ate it. But he, I put him down and before he hits the floor, he like goes like he's at a jump and lets his arms out like this and just eats it. Like he's like, I'm putting him down to the floor. His feet are going towards the floor and they're about to hit the floor and he just goes, and just eats it. Like, that's my garage. I'm gonna just see my garage. All right, um, yeah. He's just not smart. He's just dumb. Bringing relics? Nah. It's okay. All right. Let's go. On the play. Yori and I choose you. Hand is passable. We can keep this. We can keep this. Relics are just like slow. Relics help them make Merc die bigger. Yeah, I mean. All right, Valakit, let's go. Let's go, Valakit. Valakit, Anarchomancer, Red Cap. We're one, uh, we're one uh like metallic mimic kind of card from uh comboing here catacombs yeah we're gonna narcomancer so name goblin let it ride each red or green scale spell costs one less to cast they're just saying go I wish it was Cavern of Souls. Um, Icon of Ancestry. I mean, we could attempt a red cap here. It's like definitely not resolving though. The Prospector, just get a try on. One blue, Thought Scour. I was just gonna suck if I spiked the uh, Delirium here. Oh, they had a land, that's good. Bobble, oh, they hit Delirium. Oh my god. I didn't play around Thought Scour, folks. My bad. My bad. What's up, nurse? Restop, thanks so much. All right, so we're at 17. They're going to play iteration. It's fine, I guess. Surveil Monkey. They've not played a land this turn. So 
So next turn we're just like maybe Icon to set up for Red Cap to kill this, I guess. They reveal Ragavan off of Adoration. Oh, so they missed the land. So they obviously bin the Ragavan because they needed lands. And they just missed the land again. That's great for us. I'll take I'll take anything at this point, honestly. Um Zig says, I lost my calendar. What day is today? It's freaking Mob Monday. Episode number 100. Knuckleball. Alright, we're going to play this, uh, this icon of Ancestry. If I were to pick another archetype for another day, what day would it be? Maybe Tron Tuesday. But... You get, there's less to do with that, because that's more of a modern deck. Like, Goblins is perfect because you can play it in like a million different formats and a million different ways. Um, you need another archetype like that to be able to get to 100 episodes. So. Thought Scour again. Just don't have Murktide. You know, Murktide is just so big and we just can't kill it. They've been an Unholy Heat. Wow, that's aggressive. Thought Scour reveals Strand, Spire Bluff. Tron's also a popper deck. I mean, yeah, sure. No Frog Friday. We had Frog Monday. That was our April Fool's uh, this year, Frog Monday. Just another Frog Monday. Beginning combat, okay. No, yes, no, yes, no. Fish Fridays. We don't do no fuck here. We don't do that here. Crack the uh, bobble. Okay. Look at my top card. Sure. Thanks, mad efficient. That's like a legacy deck. Flicker Friday. That's kind of cool. Flicker Friday. All right. So, uh, got some triomes. Untap. They have seven cards in hand. Goblin Warchief. Sure. Make him counter this. Cast Knuckleball if they counter it. So you go to 16. Wild resub, thanks so much. So, Red Cap will kill Channeler if we can resolve it with the Icon in play. And Sling Gang is obviously going to be great, too. Nettle Sentinel Sunday. It's pretty uh, pretty narrow. 94 resub. Thanks so much. We're uh, uh, uh. 9. They're at 14. And they have Merc died. I mean, we resolve Sling Gang here. We actually aren't in the worst shape. It's, it's gonna be 8-8 eight, eight Merc died though. Fourteen red. I guess I could um I can't kill them, right? Between Prospector and and, uh, and Sling Gang. Grum Gully. Oh my god, that's the entire combo. We don't have enough mana to do it all. Do we? I don't think we do. Play Sling Gang. Sacking Knuckleball. Sack Token Token. Cast Grum Gully. Yeah, we're, we're just short. God, unbelievable. So close. So close. Um, set seven. I guess we gotta like just play red cap, kill channeler and hope we don't die. So if we don't die, we'll combo kill them next turn. It's kind of cool.
They have six cards in hand, so not dying is basically impossible, but... Grumgully the Generous. All right, I mean, somehow don't kill me or have a counter spell on your seven cards in hand. It seems really difficult. <laughs> All right, we're gonna try again. We're gonna try again. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna call I'm gonna call this like an O4. YouTube folks. Uh, you're only gonna miss second time around because it's only gonna be on Twitch. So I love you, YouTube. Thanks for hanging out. Appreciate it. Sorry I couldn't get a ballot what's killed for you, all right? Uh, look for the commander section of this 12-hour stream uh, later on YouTube, right? YouTube folks, love you. Like, comment, subscribe. You're all great. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it.